Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Wood and I am the CEO and founder of The Hote Edit, which is a personal styling and personal transformation company. So if you are new here, welcome. I am so excited to see you. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. So for today's video, I'm really excited to do a shoppable video of kind of like a complete capsule wardrobe of the basics, the essentials, the items that you can build pretty much every single wardrobe off of. So with each of your wardrobes, and especially when I'm doing wardrobe edits, <laughs> I find that everybody has so many pieces that they don't wear. And within each of your wardrobes, you're kind of supposed to have about like 80% classic, 20% trend, or 20% of whatever style you're going for. So these would be the essential pieces that you would build your wardrobe off of. And I grabbed, I think it's 21 items and 11 different categories of items so that you can build off of those pieces. And I went with um, quality pieces that you will have for a really long time. And I think pretty much all of them have about five stars, reviews, and up. So I grabbed all of them from Bloomingdale's, so it'll make the shopping easy peasy. So let's hop into the first items. So here we have the 11 categories of items that you need. So first off, we have the trench, and then we have the blazers, and then we have the tees, then we have the little black dress, the moto jacket, the pumps, the different types of denim, and then the pencil skirt. And the final item is the quality tote. And this one, I definitely love, prefer, tell my clients to get a tote, a handbag, a satchel, um, that has very minimal logoing and very minimal um, just, uh, flashiness about it so that you have more of a classic piece that you can use and have for years and years to come. So let's get into the first item of the trench. So for our first item is the trench. And this one, I picked two different ones. One that is the traditional beige trench. And then I also popped in a faux leather black trench for a little bit of fun and a little bit of edge. And this is a classic piece that you can obviously <clears throat> use for the rain, <laughs> which is one of the main purposes for a trench, but is such a gorgeous classic piece that you can throw over your shoulders, you can put on properly, and it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous staple piece to have. And this one I picked from Hobbs of London, which is a great quality, quality company, and you can't go wrong with a trench like this. So let's hop over to the other option. And here we have the other trench option that I picked and definitely a little bit more edgy, a little bit more stylized, but I love the faux leather croc embossed trench. It is just a cool edgy, but still classic piece that you can pop again, like I was mentioning, over your shoulders or wear it properly. And it is just a beautiful trench to have. So I'll make that shoppable. And now let's hop over to the next item. For our next essential in our capsule wardrobe of the base basic items for every wardrobe is the blazer. And you can dress them up, dress them down. The blazer is just such a great versatile piece to have. I have one like this one from La Angance that is a little bit more stylized, a little bit Beaumont-esque, 
or definitely the oversized blazer, which is very, very on trend right now. Faux leather blazer. Uh, blazer is a great way to have your pop of color, and it is just a essential piece to have in your wardrobe as a go-to. Uh, dress them up, dress them down, wear them with jeans, wear them as a suit. Just so many options with a blazer, and this one is definitely a beautiful piece to have. So I have a few more blazer options that I will pop in real quick. And here we have a Vince boyfriend blazer, and this one will be that oversized fit that I was talking about that is so very on trend right now. And this, for my petite ladies, you might want to size down a little bit so that the blazer doesn't wear you and you stay wearing it. And it is just such a great versatile blazer to have. So this one I love for the essentials and let's hop over to the next one. And for the last blazer, blazer option, I picked this one from Theory. It is a tailored slim fit blazer. And when you have the single button blazer, it really nips you in at the waist and it makes your shoulders look just very strong and empowered and it makes your waist look teeny tiny. So it is a gorgeous blazer to have. So with the blazers, definitely grab one in black, white, off-white, beige, uh, a pattern, a fun pop of color, gray, navy. Definitely get all of your neutrals down so that way you can dress them up, dress them down, mix them in with your current wardrobe, or um, grab one in that pop of color to have that fun pop to your outfit. So these are the items for the blazer section of the essential wardrobe. Next up is the T. So with these, you definitely want to have some V-necks and some crew necks. And like the one that I'm wearing right now, easily dress them up, dress them down. They are such a great staple piece to have in your wardrobe. And I suggest definitely buying a more quality piece in the tee so that it is not see-through. Or if you prefer a little bit of see-through, definitely go for that. But I love having that better quality material and quality fabric so that it will last you so much longer. Longer. So having a gray, a black, and a white v-neck tee, and then all the same in the crew neck. So I will pop those as shoppable as well. And here is the crew neck option. And these, I definitely suggest, again, grabbing a black, a white, and a gray in these. And then you can obviously do a variety of colors to have that pop of color. But having those staple items in those neutral colors is best for your base wardrobe, your essential wardrobe. Next up for your essential wardrobe is the quintessential little black dress. And that is just such a staple piece that Coco Chanel gave us and is a timeless piece that you can so easily dress up, dress down, you know, pop on pearls, pop on diamonds, pop on sneakers, pop on flip-flops, pop on some heels. Such a versatile piece that you can just have for every occasion, any occasion, having one, at least one, little black dress in your essential wardrobe is definitely key and a great piece to have. Next up in the essentials is the moto jacket. And this one is becoming more and more classic and a staple item the more time goes by. It is such a staple, wonderful piece, and I love grabbing these for my clients, and it just makes them feel so edgy, so empowered, and just a fun piece to throw on. And you can throw it on over a dress, over a t-shirt, over, um, you know, any item, dress it up, dress it down, your classic white button down, um, anything. They are just such a great piece to have in your wardrobe. And this is another place that you can do a pop of color or do the um, 
Moto in Suede or um, Tweed Canvas, so many different options, but having that quintessential leather or faux leather black Moto jacket is a definite perfect essential piece to have in your essential wardrobe. Next up in the essentials is the, again, quintessential white button down. And I think I might have skipped over this when I was talking about the intro, but uh, this is such a staple piece that you can have for so, so many different occasions. Uh, pop this on with a pencil skirt, pop this on with a pair of jeans, a uh, pair of shorts, a skirt, so, I said the skirt twice, I don't know, so many different options for the white button down. Uh, roll up the sleeves, make it a little more casual, uh, pop a fun uh, pin or brooch on with it and you can dress it up. So many different options with the white button down. It is definitely a piece that you wanna have in your wardrobe. And this one that I grabbed from Theory, uh, five-star reviews, the People just love it. It is great quality. It has a little bit of stretch, so you don't feel so confined while you're wearing it. But the quintessential white button down is a must for your essential wardrobe. Next up is the pencil skirt. And I think I might be going a little bit out of order, but I wanted the shoes and the handbag to be last. But the pencil skirt is such a beautiful silhouette. It hugs my lady's curves. It looks gorgeous on every petite, tall, uh, curvy lady, um, slimmer ladies style. It is just such a perfect pencil skirt for every single different body type. And it just flatters and looks amazing on every different type of beautiful, beautiful lady. And I love this one from Theory. It is just a great quality piece. Again, five-star reviews. This one is in leather. So if you prefer a faux leather option, I can definitely grab that or you can find that within the Bloomingdale store to keep everything in one bag. But this one is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And again, so easily dressed up or dressed down and one item that you will have forever and will not go out of style. Next up, we have the trouser or the trouser pant. It is a wardrobe essential to have at least one, pit, one pair of like suit type trousers to have in your wardrobe to have for those more um, special occasions or to pop on it to complete a suit or to just have for a nicer occasion. And these pants I love because of the way that they go all the way to the floor. You will look a million miles tall and with that little bit of flare, that little bit of boot cut, it will just look gorgeous and make your frame just look beautiful. So these I love from Theory. They are just such a gorgeous pant to have in your staple wardrobe. Next up is denim. So denim is such an essential for any wardrobe to have your skinny denim that is so easily popped on with boots, uh, your crop denim to show off your heels, your wide leg denim, which is so in right now with the oversized look that we are going for with uh, shirts, blazers, and power pants, and definitely oversized jeans. And then having them in boot cut, having them in the black, white, uh, blue, different rinses of darkness and lightness, but having all a few different types of denim is best to have for your essential wardrobe. And again, denim is so easily dressed up or dressed down and you can have such fun with it. So I'm going to pop a few different styles of denim in here and I'm not going to go through each one just to save on time but they will be available on the side of this video for you to just click and buy or they'll be below if you're watching this on your phone to just click and buy below the video so I will pop those in but I'm going to not talk about each just to save on time. And now we are 
are on our second to last of the essentials and this one is number 10 I believe and we are on to the pump so with the pump I picked one that was a little bit lower I think this one might be two and a half three inches but not too too crazy high and all of my clients that have purchased this particular shoe have said they are super comfortable and as you can see it has a five star bunch of five star reviews so having a black pump and a nude pump are definitely two essential items that you are going to want to have just as your base and then popping in you know your sandals your loafers your pops of color uh, sneaks all the different other types of shoes but starting out with the black pump and the nude pump are best for your essential wardrobe so i will make these shoppable and now we are going to go on to our last item And now we are at our last piece of the essentials wardrobe, and that is your classic handbag. And with this one, it comes in the black and the tan, but it looks like the um, caraway seed gold are the two options currently. So maybe this other tan one will come back in stock, but I absolutely just love the classic, beautiful, minimal styling of the Ferragamo bag. It is just a classic bag, classic piece to have, and you will have it for so many years to come. It is just the perfect size bag to be able to carry your essential items but then it will also in the black go with everything that you have so i love this handbag and you can definitely do puffs of color with your handbag but i always say to go for those minimal styling and not too much logoing so that you can have it in your wardrobe for years and years to come so now we are at the end of the video. I hope you loved it. I hope you loved these uh, essential items for your base wardrobe and definitely shop your wardrobe first. Sustainability is best. Um, make that wardrobe edit and then add in these pieces or other pieces that you need for your essential wardrobe. But uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you and your support. Definitely give me a like, a thumbs up, and a subscribe, and pop in the comments what other videos you would all like to see. But I hope you all have a great day, and I'll chat with you soon.